Good afternoon YouTube, how are you doing? This is Rich Hondeman from Rich Micro Tooling Technologies. This is just my little shop here. I think you may have seen my video before. Not too many hits, but the ones who have, welcome back. I just purchased today this uh, Central Machine uh, 4 by 36 by 6 inch belt sander. From what I read on the net, um, I tried to do a lot of comparisons to see if it was actually worthy of a buy. And from what I could read, it was probably 90% was good. The rest seemed to lack a little bit. It was a little bit sparse on, on what people really wanted. Um, I'll, I'll give you another little quick tour of the shop here. You'll see. I'm, I'm very small micro tooling technologies. I do small work. I do precision work. Um, basically what I wanted this for was just to deburr. Um, I don't really see me doing anything as far as a finish or anything of that nature. This is just to save a little bit of filing work for me. Um, put it together. Assembly was a little bit, I don't know if you want to say arduous. Um, it was, it wasn't bad. I agree with everyone on the internet. Don't worry about the manual. This stuff is self-explanatory. If you're buying this, that means you're mechanical enough to know how to put this thing together. Um, the head will tilt back at, I, I think, so if you want to go 90 to 0. Um, I have it in the upright because that's the position 9 times out of 10 I'm going to be using it at. The disc itself, not too sure about you know how much I'll be using it. Um, the miter gauge is sloppy. But I had figured if you put it to one direction or the other, you might get lucky and get a precision grind on it um, or a precision sand. I mean, I don't know how you really want to put it. Um, with that being said, aluminum plate, very rough. A lot of sharp edges on here. Um, doesn't really bother me all that much. Um, so what I did is I set up the table and I tried to get this as square as I can. I don't know if you, and it's probably a little bit far away to see that. So I'm just going to take and leave it like that. It really isn't all that much. Let's see if maybe if I can get a light behind it, you'll see. Looks pretty even crest. Maybe a little bit. I haven't changed the belt, I just put the hit sanding disc on there as soon as I got it. I just wanted to see how it worked. Um, I would have to say the best buy that I ever had, and I'll show you in a minute, and that's going to be the horizontal, horizontal vertical bandsaw. Love that thing. That thing is dead fucking nuts, okay? Um, it, it take a little time to play with it to get it the way that you want it. Once you do that, that thing is awesome. The blades that came with it, I was able to get a couple of cuts here, a couple of cuts there. But I bought a, a bi metal blade. Thing is awesome. Lasted like a champ. Still sharp to this day. Um, that's about three months old. Purchased this today. The drill press over there, a little bit sloppy. For what I needed to do, I do all my precision on the mill itself. So that is really just to rough out most of the times. Put in a, a pilot hole and go from there. Um, if you're going to take doing a slot and you want to chunk it out, you'll make your procession of, of drills. And then I just plunge through with my end mills back and forth, back and forth. Um, would I recommend this? Yeah, I, I, I really would. Uh, for what you get uh, and what you paid. I paid like uh, $60 for this. I got a 20% coupon on it. And there was a, I believe they're called Super Coupons, um, from Harbor Freight. So I dropped it down to like, I don't know, $60. And you can't beat it, I'm sorry. I'm small enough right now, I'm just a, a fledging business. I can't afford the Deltas. I can't afford, the, you know, 
the more expensive ones. The, the more I can get up and running, the more I can put in the bank. Later on, yes, I will take and buy some better stuff. But for right now, it's perfect for what I have. Um, I'll give you a real quick uh, tour. Actually, before I do that, you're going to find out that it's a little bit clunky, a little bit loud. And I'll, I'll turn it on and you can hear it. The tracking itself works very well. I don't know how much you'll be able to see, but just a little tweak, and you can see it's already starting to come over. It's not, it's not one of your higher precision belts. You can hear it, the knocking in. I think it'll be fine. The switch itself has the lockout key so that you know, if you want to walk away, if you don't want your kids to be able to turn the machine on when you're not around. And that'll do it for that. Okay, I'm going to turn this off and we'll give you a little quick tour of the other. Okay, welcome back. Alright, so as I stated before, this is probably from... Harbor Freight, the the best purchase that I've had yet. Um, fantastic saw. It took a little bit to get it into square. Um, but the thing cuts like a champ. Um, I haven't really done much on the vertical cutting of it. Uh, I haven't really needed to do that just yet. Um, I don't know if I can, if hopefully you're getting some of these angles that you can see. Um, nice, nice saw. Um, buy it again if I had to. Okay, and so the shop is here. Again. The cheapy, of course, but you know something? Like I said, it's not precision, it's just for roughing. My mill, love the Grizzly products. I know a lot of you out there are saying, oh, Chinese, 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 but you know something? That right there is going to make me money. I will get myself a Bridgeport. Uh, in time, I guess. Uh, there's just a die I made just as a, we were doing a prototype on some fin dies where I used to work. And uh, that little die set there I've had for 20 plus years easy. It's just something I can't get rid of. A little bit of rust on it was up in my garage. And in between the time of my job when I was left my job and started my own business here. You know, it sat in the garage so it collected a little rust. But you know something all in all? She's alright man. She still makes the fence. And skim along and you're going to see. Okay, now here's my grizzly lathe. Again, nothing big, nothing major. But you know something? Again, it's going to make you money to get the better one. And then you can see the assortment of crap all over the place. Sorry about the way it looks right now. It's just, I've been busier than hell. And by being busier than hell, it's, I haven't had that much time to really take and clean up the shop. Well, this is about it for today. I just wanted to let you know the, the new additions that are coming in for those who have you know, taking the time to look, and I really appreciate it. Happy to like this video or want to make a comment? Please do. Feel free. Love to hear from you. All right, folks. You have a good day.